You're watching WMAR 2 News. The explosive spread of the Omicron variant is causing many to wonder if they should cancel their holiday plans, but health experts say that while nothing is 100% risk free, if you are vaccinated and you take precautions, you can still gather with loved ones. Health experts are saying that uh, getting a vaccination is still the best defense and a booster shot increases that protection. The CDC says gather outdoors is safer than indoors. It warns the people to avoid crowded, poorly ventilated spaces. And if your guests include kids too, too young to be vaccinated, well, experts say they may be more at risk than ever before from getting infected because we don't know the effect of Omicron on our young kids. I would take additional precautions because this is an infant that we're talking about with very little immune protection. So if you are sick or you have symptoms, don't host or attend a gathering and consider using a home self test before joining indoor gatherings. The CDC also recommends you wear a mask indoors if you're not fully vaccinated. Our COVID metrics continue to get worse. Positivity is now above 12%, a half a percent point higher than it was yesterday. 73 more Marylanders are in the hospital. In all, more than 1,400 need COVID-related medical care. Of those patients, 300 are in the ICU. And if we surpass 1,500 hospitalizations, hospitals will enact stricter pandemic plans. LifeBridge Health and the Maryland Hospital Association say that involves things like activating COVID command centers, pausing or delaying of elective surgeries, and moving staff to where they are needed the most. And revised aid is coming to those impacted by September's tornado here in Anne Arundel County. Previously, the Maryland Department of Community Housing and Community Development was only giving out low interest loans. Now grants will be available to those in need. That tornado hit Annapolis in southern Anne Arundel County as an EF2 with winds up to 157 miles an hour. We have the instructions on how to apply for one of those grants at WMAR2news.com. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Lots of sunshine as you head out of the door. Just grab the coat Man, it's going to be in the upper 20s for the start of the day. Temperatures do climb into the 40s, but only getting into the lower 40s. I think we hit 43 in Baltimore, low 40s in Annapolis, upper 30s near the Mason Dixon line. Thankfully, a warm front is on the way. That's going to bring some warmer air Friday into Saturday. Unfortunately, increased cloud cover on Friday and a rain chance late Friday night into Saturday. Saturday, and then we're clearing out by Sunday with highs in the upper 50s. All right, click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.